is like kind of being in a maze when you're a kid. Right? When you're a kid, you can't see over. As an adult, you can see over. Here you can see clearly laid out four bedrooms, two bathrooms. We're standing in the open layout right now. Obviously, this is going to be your kitchen. It's going to be your island, dining room, backyard, living room combination. Your traditional wide line ranch, utility room behind the garage, and the garage over there. But let's take a walk through. So as you can see, you got the lines going through the entire house. Feed pattern, very, very, very nice, very smooth. So again, very versatile. You could stucco this, you could leave it. Our plan for this is we really want to embrace what it is. This is a 3D printed house and we want people to see it as a 3D printed house. So the design lends itself to a 3D printed house. We're gonna be spraying on paint. It's gonna be a very, very subtle light gray and then we're gonna have nice warm accents throughout the house. A lot of wood, wood flooring, wood accents, wood shutters, just to kind of warm up the space again because concrete isn't exactly the, uh, the warmest feeling. So these are the doorways, right? As you can see, there's a rounded edge when the machine's making the turn. For the doorways, after we put it through, right before it gets hard, we take a grinder and we go down top to bottom to flatten it out. This way, it's much easier to install the doors. Otherwise, you have this rounded edge right here, which is virtually impossible to try to fit a door opening. So we grind it down like so, pop the door in, and we're good to go. So a lot of people ask me on TikTok, Instagram, by the way, if you're not following us, handsome underscore homebuyer on TikTok and on Instagram. And hopefully, obviously, you're watching the YouTube. If you're not, go to YouTube. We have a ton of information on real estate investing and 3D printed houses. So a lot of people ask, hey, it's concrete. Doesn't it crack? Doesn't it crack? Doesn't it crack? Yes. Concrete cracks. It's supposed to crack. It's a very healthy thing. If concrete doesn't crack, there's a problem. So here's an example of cracking. Here's a very, very small stress crack. This isn't structural. This is nothing to worry about. We get threes periodically throughout the house. I think throughout this entire house, we have seven or eight, which is nothing. The good news is when we paint, after this settles, we're gonna paint. And the paint is a, uh, a thicker kind of elastomer paint because obviously concrete is porous. We need to keep the water out. So it's gonna fill all, if not most of these, so you're not even gonna see them. All right, so the Boise here doing the electric. The electric comes in, in a couple different phases. First, the outlet, so the machine prints up. When we get to the outlet height, we stop, SQ4D cuts in while the concrete is still soft, the opening for the outlets, then the electrical crew comes in, puts the boxes in. Now we're at the second height, we're at 48 inches. At 48 inches, you're gonna have your switches. So again, last night SQ4D was out here until midnight, cut the openings, the electrical, the electrical crew is putting in the boxes and then running the remaining conduit and wires. So if you look in here, you could see everything is hollow. You have the conduit, you have the boxes, you have the rebar, and you have a good amount of workable space inside these walls where everything can be run before you put the spray foam insulation in and button it up. 